up guys, it's Skill Street. Today, I will be building my first PC. When I need help with this build, I will be calling technician Jermaine, also known as my sister's boyfriend. But yeah, let's go. First thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna make sure I'm grounded. So I'm gonna be using an anti-static wrist strap and I'm gonna be connecting this to my case. So this is my motherboard. I will need my SSD Corsair RAM, Fire CUDA, 500 gigabytes. Ryzen processor. Yeah, so let me get out my motherboard. Oh, and also, thank you to the technician who has provided me with the Ryzen 7 CPU cooler, which I will be using for my Ryzen 5. So that's going to be pretty good. So, I'm going to first take this out. So, this is my tiny SSD here. Okay, I'm going to undo this part. I gotta take this thing out right here. Maybe I don't. So it should nicely come out like this. So now I have this thing I took out. And now I'll put in my SSD. So, how I do this? How the heck do I do this? I'm gonna have to call the technician, guys. Hello? Uh, technician? Yes, sir. I am having troubles in trying to install my SSD. How do I install it in my motherboard? Uh, what do you have out? I have my Fire CUDA, and you know the thing that I took out for my. Are you I, taking out the heat, heat cover? Yeah. You it I took that thing out, yes. <laughs> okay, I don't know what this guy's doing. Okay, I'm gonna call him back. <laughs> he doesn't want to help, I guess. Hello? Okay. <laughs> okay, this is interesting. Yeah? Oh! Oh! Okay, I get it. Okay. Do I have to take off this plastic, Jermaine? SSD. From the thermal. Thermal So now, I took off the plastic. He's still talking. Filipino. Nicely put it in there. Do I have to apply a pressure when putting it in? Pressure? No, 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 no. It's just nicely sitting there. Yeah. But, but I have to push it in a little because. But I have to push it in a little because. It's still a little, but it, you don't expect like a pop or anything like that. Okay. It's not that satisfying. I'm gonna apply some pressure. Oh, I clipped in. That was satisfying though. Okay, so now I'm gonna put my M.2 screw. So now it's in there. So now guys, I gotta screw this cover in. Thermal paste, I think that's what it is. On top. So I'm gonna put first screw in here. Just gently. I'm gonna put them all evenly. So now, I got that in. I installed my first SSD, that's only one part. Now I gotta install my other SSD, which I put right there. I'm gonna plug it right into here. Heard a little click there. So now I can grab my other M.2 screw, wherever this thing is. It's this little baby screw right there. So this is gonna give me some nice colors. I installed my first SSD and my second SSD, which I'll be storing my games on. Next part. Installing my CPU. Look at this dude. And here is my CPU. Right here. It comes also with a CPU cooler. I am not going to be using this cooler because I'm going to use the Ryzen 7. Which you have to apply very careful care with. But before, I'm going to pull up this thing. 
right? There's like a corner that has a little um, triangle on it. And you're going to match that with a triangle on your CPU, which is right there. So, apply very careful care. Just want to gently drop it. Not drop it, but yeah. Place that. Just like that. Just click. You don't want to break anything. Now, put this. Just like that. Now it's locked in. Now my CPU is installed. That was the easiest step so far. Next, what I will be using, I mean doing, is I'm going to be installing my my RAM. So I'm just gonna take out my RAM. All right, there's no screws you need for this. All right, so right here it says what I'll need. So I'm only having two, right? So I'm gonna open the slots that I need. So I need to open the second one and this one right here. All right? You don't have to open this. So now I have my RAM. You see the hole right, holes right there? I'm gonna make sure it aligns perfectly. Uh, so right there. Just slide it in. Okay, I need to call the technician because I'm applying quite a bit of pressure and I don't want to wreck it. So, I'm going to call him. Yeah. Okay. So, here's a good look of our technician here. There's the good looking guy. <laughs> okay, now I'm, I need to install my RAM, right? Do I have to apply quite a bit of pressure? Yeah, I'm doing that, but... Well, you only put one side down. Okay. How do I, like... You want to do it in dual channel. Yeah, I'm in dual channel right now. I just... When I'm installing it... I'm putting it in this one. Right there. And this one right there. Yeah. I just need to... Yeah, look at the notch. See if that one It just doesn't fit. <laughs> you jumped it. You... Yeah. Okay, Jermaine. This this doesn't. These don't tilt, right? No, no, no. Those don't. Those don't. These do. Which one do I lean? This way or this way? Other way. Other way. This way. That way. Yes, like that. Okay. Only goes in one way. Okay. So I put this side in. Just like that, and I put this side in. Now, apply pressure on both of this. Okay, I got that one in. <laughs> this is scary, <laughs> part two of this one. Okay, now I gotta take this one out. I installed that one. Now I gotta install this one. I'm gonna line it. Okay, now I push. Yes, part. Yeah, I heard that. Okay, so, I installed my RAM! Thanks, Jermaine. I'll call you back if I need help again. What? Yeah, it's gonna be scary putting the cooler in. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I'm already scared, bro. Okay, see you. Okay, so now, I would say this is the most difficult part of this whole thing. Installing CPU cooler. I don't know which side to do first. I'm actually gonna call him back. That was bad. Okay. Which side? The AMD. The AMD part is facing towards the the um, IO shield, right? Well, well, I look into your plastic jacket to see which organization fits the like, thing. This, this is supposed to be two silver tabs, and that's the only two ways you can orient. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure the AMD logo is going to be on the left. It's not on the top. Look at the latches. Yeah, you can see the bracket. I'm gonna apply this right here. Right on top of my CPU. Okay, so that's in there now. Now do I put the other latch in too? Yeah. Two hours later. Oh, so now it's in. 
I currently have this part plugged in right there and I also plugged this part in it's in there which is difficult to see right now okay guys I have to plug this thing I have to go around here and plug this into CPU fan port okay so now that's in I have two plugs so I'm going to take out these slots right here, that slot, this slot right here. Now i got to plug this thing into like one of these things. Should nicely fit in there. Now I just got to look for an RGB fan thing. Okay, so I am going to put it in like this then. Okay, so I think this is in now. Uh, I'm just gonna cord manage this right here. Put this so it's like this. Okay, so now I plug that through here so it doesn't interfere with my graphics card. So now I'm done with that so far. Now I am going to be doing my case. Okay, so now I'm gonna twist this around. I'm gonna take out the back thing. So now I can take out this will look like this. I'm gonna put this on a safe spot. So now I'm going to prep my case by taking out whatever I don't need. I am going to take out the SD card slots. So now what I'll be doing here is installing my motherboard. Okay now my dad's calling so hey dad. Hello? 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 Okay, this was a prank call. I'll call you once I'm uh, done building it. Okay, so now I'm gonna install my motherboard into the thing and I just have to make sure I align it with the standoffs. I'm gonna grab my motherboard right here. I'm gonna align it with the IO shield. I'm gonna align it with the standoffs. Okay, I think they're aligned. Now I just need my IO shield to be aligned. I think that's aligned. I can make sure all of my screws are in. So first I'm gonna put in here. installed all the standoffs. I think we're good here. Now that we're done that, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in my power supply. Okay, so I'm just going to install the power supply and I will be back once it's done. So now I'm going to be plugging in my reset switch, my power LED, and my power switch. So I'm going to start with the bottom, which is the reset switch. Um, I think the arrow means positive. Oops, I am not wearing my wrist strap. After that is my power LED, and then my power switch. This one, I think it goes upside down. So now, I connected my front panel connectors. Okay, so now I just need to screw in my fans. I just need to attach this clip again. Okay, um, so one right there. Now, I'll put this fan in. Now I could plug it into this one. 
put it like that. Okay, so now I got my fans in. Now I am installing my LED strips. Unfortunately, my camera died and I lost footage, so now I have to do a voiceover. What I was doing here is connecting my power supply extensions to my CPU and motherboard, then from there I would connect the other end of the extensions to my power supply cables. Also, I apologize for my audio in some parts of the video where it didn't sound so great. Since I'm here, make sure you like this video, comment, and of course, subscribe to my channel. So now, I just need to put in my graphics card, which I have here, and I have a SEG bracket so it won't sag down, you know? Getting my connectors in was very difficult, but I managed. I need to open this slot here. Just open this slot. I will need to take out this one and this one. Now you're gonna put this into here. Okay, so now it's finally in. All right, so now I'm gonna put this in. Okay, now that I got, I got these things that I'll plug into those. First, I'm going to plug it into here. I'm gonna rub that through there. Okay, so now I am done this. Now all I have to do is cable organize, which I already kind of started doing. I don't need this plug, but I could just tuck it in there somewhere. Don't need this either. Alright, I just need to plug these things in, and then I'm done. So now, I can grab this. Okay, so the moment I've been waiting for this whole day is to see if this thing will work. I'm gonna plug it in, plug it into the wall. Alright, once I press this button, I'll see if it works. Well, it didn't work. Okay, I'll have to see what's happening here. Alright, so I'm just gonna put on the front panel here. Now, I'm gonna press the power button and see if it works. Back, 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 back to those days